Good morning children. Now we shall learn about different types of angle. So what is an angle? We know as we saw in the last class when two straight lines meet at a point they form an angle. This is the angle between these two straight lines which meet at this point. We can also say the angle is the amount of turn between the two straight lines which meet at a point. And what are these two lines called? When two straight lines meet at a point to form the angle, the two straight lines are called the arms of the angle. And the point where these two straight lines meet to form an angle is called the vertex. So this is the vertex of this angle. Understood? Now let us see the different types of angles. Here can you see the clock? What is the time in clock? The hour end is pointing towards 3 and the minute hand is pointing towards 12. So the time is 3 o'clock. Now if we see both the hands the hour end and the minute hand then what do you see? The minute hand is standing straight on the hour end and the angle formed here is said to be right angle and it is equal to 90 degrees. So what do you know now? That when two straight lines are there and the angle between them is equal to 90 degrees it is called right angle and the two lines are said to be perpendicular lines. So remember when the angle between the two lines is equal to 90 degrees the lines are said to be perpendicular to each other and same thing we can say about the hands of the clock that these two hands are at right angles or they are perpendicular to each other. So we used a curve to represent the angle between the two lines but when it is 90 degree this angle can be represented by two perpendicular lines instead of the curve to show the angle between these two lines is equal to 90 degrees. Now let's see this building. Here the building is lying straight on the ground or you can see the building is having an angle equal to 90 degrees with reference to the ground. We can say the building is perpendicular to the ground as the angle here is equal to 90 degrees or we can say the building is at right angle to the ground. So now you know the building is said to be perpendicular to the ground. Now which is this building? Can you recognize it? Yes, it is a famous building which is Leaning Tower of Pisa. Do you know how it got its name? See, if we see the angle, is it a right angle? No, it is not a right angle. So, we can say this Leaning Tower of Pisa is not perpendicular to the ground. Understood? As it is not making an right angle with reference to the ground. Now here Aman is doing exercise. For this he stretches hands this way. Can you tell what is the angle formed by these two hands? Well if you see it is at right angle. So in this position we can say the two hands are at right angles to each other. Understood? See here we have drawn two perpendicular lines to represent it is a right angle or that the angle is equal to 90 degrees. Now see the clock again. 
what is the time now here the time is 5 past 3 the minute has moved and the angle has reduced what we can say the angle is less than the right angle or it is less than the 90 degrees so when the angle is less than the 90 degree we call it acute angle so in this position acute angle is formed between the two hands of the clock here if we see the angle between the jaws of the crocodile what will you see the angle is formed and it is less than 90 degree so here too we can say the angle formed is an acute angle see it's an acute angle next let's see the angle formed by the arm you know about the elbow joint so if we in this position what do we see the angle made at the elbow joint is less than the 90 degrees so we can say it is an acute angle at the elbow joint in this position now coming to this position of the hands what do we see the forearm is at 90 degrees with reference to the rest of the arm see like this and we can say at the elbow joint the angle made is equal to 90 degrees which is a right angle now the hand is fully stretched so what is the angle formed at the elbow well it is almost equal to 180 degrees and when the angle is equal to 180 degrees we call it straight angle see here it is the straight angle why is the straight angle equal to 180 degree let us see why it is so so p said this is the straight angle now let us see what is this the two lines are at right angles to each other now if we draw this line again these two lines are at right angles so what are these there are two right angles so here we can figure out that two right angles make a straight angle that is why straight angle is double of right angle or you can say straight angle is equal to 180 degrees and 180 degrees is equal to 2 times 90 degrees which is a right angle now let's see this position the angle here at the elbow point is definitely greater than 90 degrees see it is greater than 90 degrees but it is also less than 180 degrees and this type of angle which is greater than 90 degree is called obtuse angle so the hands at this position make an obtuse angle at the elbow joint that's all for now bye bye children